Hello, uh, Mas Pacu here, and welcome to this video. So, um, this is a project that I've been working on a couple of months ago, uh, which is a 3D cloud. And this is not a volumetric, by the way, uh, this is a material which is applied to this object here. and. This was originally gonna be included on the Skyrig add-on that I made a couple of months ago also but I didn't include it there because there is some serious performance issues and it does not work the way I want it and it does not look like a cloud at all but anyway um, let me see if I can find it Okay, um, this is the add-on that I make. So uh, this is an environment lighting add-on and as you can see here, uh, the cloud is uh, very flat. So basically this is a, <coughs> a noise texture, an animated noise texture uh, which is put it together with the rig itself and also the add-on itself is Kind of work, but I kind of really need pretty much tweaking. I think. Um, so yeah. Uh, okay, let's get back to this cloud itself. So what it is? Uh, this is a material, a three D material. So this is a space within a three D space. Um, I don't know if you get what I mean, but anyway um so uh, let me see if i can use the navigation and go to the fly navigation and if i go forward and as you can see here this is not a flat cloud but this is the cloud that have a volume for well volume that have a volume that i can go in and out the cloud itself and like i said this is not a volumetric material uh, this is not a volumetric in a sense mm, I, I i i don't really know what this called but it is what it is so yeah and the frame rate is kind of very low like i said this is have a really serious performance issues and stuff and it doesn't look like a real cloud but uh it's close okay uh what else what else what else um the lighting so this material can be affected by the light uh in this case this is gonna be the sunlight and if i rotate this sunlight as you can see the cloud get affected by this and if i change the sun color like so uh, this cloud also get affected and also this material uh, so I can say uh, this cloud material uh, can be affected by the environment lighting so in this case the HDRI light lighting that you put on this um, let me go to the dev look view um, if I change the viewport setting here, so let me see, uh, just this one, as you can see, the HDRI affecting the cloud itself. Um, let's, uh, this one, and probably mm, this. So 
so yeah and what else well, oh um okay uh this material itself uh, have a few parameter that will um, uh okay my brain is stop working excuse me uh this this cloud have a few parameters that we can adjust such as the thickness value um let's say we're gonna put 0.2 and we're gonna have a very thin cloud um probably point to five so yeah uh, something like so and maybe point three or point four okay <clears throat> and also uh, this have a movement parameter so if we change the value here and as you, as you can see the cloud is like it's been blowing by the wind or something like that and yeah uh, it's the frame rate is very bad I know but it is what it is um what else I think it was this thing Mm, anyway, um, okay, about the note itself, um, I don't really know how to, to explain this, I kind of forget what thing does what, but I think if we go inside here and hit tab, uh, we can see a few parameters that we can change here, so I use a mask grip texture for a reason because I was using a noise texture that is the worst thing I can ever happen I mean the performance is really really bad and it's very heavy so I think mask texture is kind of best for this but you can try use a noise texture texture for this and make sure to set this into a 3D texture else it does not work so um what else um oh yeah um i'm gonna be put this file on my Gumroad account so if you want to play with this and or you can do whatever you want with this basically uh, I'm gonna be put the link on the description below and you can get this file and do whatever you want with it so yeah um, maybe make something new or maybe make any other shader I don't know and what else what else um, Oh, um, also, because this is a material, uh, we can put this on any object. Uh, for example, if I use a cube here and put this material to this cube. So let me select this cloud material. And as you can see here, the cloud is inside the cube itself. I mean, the inside the space of this cube so um this is nothing new really uh, uh, it's like the camera position uh based on the camera position and stuff like that and okay let's put this on the monkey susan and change the susan material to the cloud as you can see and yeah so um basically you can put this 
um, material anywhere you you like it like this plane and okay it's stopping uh, um oh yeah right select the plane material and probably gonna be rotate this material um, rx 180 okay so you can make this a on a plane something like that and adjust the parameter a little bit and yeah something like that okay um, I think that's it for this video so I just want to share this file so you can have a you can have this but I don't really know how to explain this but yeah you can check this for yourself and let me go fly for the last time navigation and go to fly navigation and yeah and okay uh, I guess that's it for this video so um, yeah uh, I see you again next time probably and bye bye